Hey y'all, uh, I grenaded a recluse clutch plat. The, the, the clutch pack. Uh, long story, you could probably watch some of these other videos and see what that looks like um, when I replaced the clutch uh, a little bit ago. But um, now I'm gonna drop my oil pan and get to the oil strainer to make sure that none of those fiber pieces got anywhere that they shouldn't be. So to start, Whoa, whoa. While we're doing this, um, what I'm going to do is go through and loosen 14 of these little 8mm hex bolts all the way around. Okay, pan is off and it is nice and sludgy and there's little clutch bits at the bottom, which is great because I want them to be in the bottom. Uh, what's not so great is catching the oil is straining using the old filter that I pulled off, but you can see sitting right there on the top more pieces of clutch that came out of my oil strainer. So we're gonna pull that off and see what's behind there. Um, I did buy another strainer as well as this gasket here. Um, so we will also pull that gasket off, which I believe is another four bolts, potentially. One here, two back there. Um, and I am hoping to avoid pulling this off, but I did buy the gasket for that as well, if needed. Okay, I'm doing two jobs today, so these are the parts that I ordered for it. Um, this is our actual oil strainer itself, and then there's an O-ring for it, and then that's a drain washer bolt. This is a shift shaft seal, because I've taken mine in and out too many times and it's leaking a little bit. This is the inner gasket that I am hoping I will not need. This is a clutch gasket, just in case. I usually reuse that one, but it's, again, been on and off a couple times. And then this is the inner clutch, uh, or oil pan gasket. So this one for sure, because I don't think it's ever been replaced, and probably a good idea. This one, hopefully not. And then, uh, oh, some. And then Max sends uh, some nice m ms for the end. I'm going to clean for a little bit, and then we're going to take little flat bladed, flathead screw and poke in here and then on the other two sides as well and pull this plastic cover off. All right, no new surprises on the underside of the engine, which is great. Then I got the pickup cover off, which was kind of a pain. I used a good player, pair of pliers and gripped on this and was able to pull. Um, and there is just a bunch of nasty... Nasty bits of clutch, which means that this was doing its job. Um, the actual strainer itself is, has a little bit of grit and grime, but is clean. Bought a new strainer, did not buy a new cover, so be careful with your covers if you're like me and not buying a new one. Um, but yeah, we will replace this and start buttoning things up. Um, this does have kind of a... Uh, there is a right and a wrong way for this seal. So the thinner the lip that's on the middle in should go up towards your engine. And the flat lip should go down towards your pan. All right, I'm going to clean these and then start tightening things up again. We're just going to do this laying on the floor because it's easier. Uh, so the bolts holding the gasket on are back in and those got some blue Loctite, which is right there, whatever, uh, glue stick for them, which is pretty cool. Um, I am now going to put on the pan, I'm pointing to it on my phone like you can see what I'm about, Jesus, it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, put the pan back on, do everything hand tight, and then uh, I'll time lapse the final torque sequence, but also put a picture of it too. Uh, I did not time lapse that. that was all my phone was all sorts of in the way so uh here's the torque sequence picture maybe it'll fit in frame anyways um so from here put in your drain plug fill it back up with oil and you should be good to go um when i had my oil pan off i made sure and cleaned it off really good on all the ceiling surfaces surfaces but also on the bottom so i could see if anything was leaking in the future um yeah, this was not necessarily a fun job, but it wasn't 
the worst thing I've done on this bike. So hopefully you did all right as well. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll see you all later.